On today's episode of Life in the Rock Pool, we're looking at this little guy, the Strawberry Anemone. We're going to take a look at why it's so well suited to the Rock Pool and what features it has for survival in this harsh environment. This little guy is Actinia fragacea, or in English, the Strawberry Anemone. It's really easy to understand how they got their name, Strawberry Anemone, because just by the visual of it, it looks like a strawberry with the greenish dots surrounding it, acting like the seeds. It's arguably one of the most beautiful and colourful organisms you'll find on the rocky shore. And just look at the colours on it, those reds and greens are just beautiful. They can be quite small like this guy that we found, or they can be quite large, growing up to 10 centimetres in diameter. Now I found this strawberry anemone on a loose piece of rock that was just poking out of a rock pool. I haven't touched the anemone, which is good, it means I can just put the rock back exactly where I found it and not bother the animal at all. They can usually be found at the lower end of the rocky shore, closer to the ocean, and they spend their lives on the same rock. They can move if needs be, if conditions change, say it gets a bit too cold one season or a bit too hot, or their rock breaks off as has happened to this guy, but they can move at a maximum speed of 10 centimetres an hour, so if they want to move home, it'll take them a while. As we've put this girl back in the water, he's just opened up a little bit, and you can see just there, a few of his tentacles just poking out. Below the tentacles, the strawberry anemone has a circular set of stinging cells called acrohagathates. These stinging cells are the main form of defence for the strawberry anemone. If any predators or any prey get too close to their tentacles, it can pull them in, sting them, paralyse them and either draw them in to eat or drop them where hopefully something else in the rock pool will come along and eat it. Now the same goes with everything you find in a rock pool. Keep contact to a minimum and put it back where you found it once you're done. So I think we've bothered this little guy enough now. Let's get him back in the water.